Mike Leonard Insurance Agency has served the communities in the North Texas Metroplex area for over 40 years. We're an independent agency, which gives us the opportunity to shop among a number of larger, nationally known companies without sacrificing coverage. If you haven't shopped for a better car or home insurance lately, give us a call or check out our website. You will be shocked at how much more your current company may be overcharging you. Mike Leonard Insurance, we're local, independent, and we're here for you. Punches your ticket to the playoffs. You've been you've been a utility player on offense and then a stud on defense. What does it mean in your senior year to go to the playoffs? It's actually my junior, or junior year. Sorry. Man, it's just like doing it for these seniors, man. I built a lot of bonds with these seniors. I got it. I got it. my heart out for them. How about you? How about you get, get ready to go to the playoffs? Uh, it was a great game. Uh, glad we could secure that spot with the fourth win. And I appreciate all my teammates for playing hard, putting up points on the scoreboard, knocking them, locking them down on defense. You know, playing, playing hard, playing fast, and just making sure that we can continue on the playoffs. You had a key interception in the first half. That kind of really shifted. The momentum was already moving, but it really shifted the momentum y'all's way. Talk about what you saw and what you had, what enabled you to get the pick. Yes, sir. Uh, the ball was in the air, so I was playing deep back, and the ball. It was just a uh, limp pass, didn't make it to the receiver in time. So I jumped up, grabbed the ball, and uh, it was a great play. As a senior, what does it mean this last time playing here at home? Um, it means everything, you know. This this turf, man, we put in the work every summer. Uh, every winter we come running on the field, you know, all these workouts and everything, and all these games over the last few years, man, uh, means a lot. You know, walking off the field the last time, uh, make sure to cherish it. Brock, for you as a junior, the last home game of the season. Now you've got you've got next year as your senior year. You're only going to get two more things. How does it feel to send these seniors out on a big, big high note tonight? I mean, like I said earlier, the bonds I built with the seniors is just unlike any other. It's just good. Go out and win without the win on our home turf with these guys, and hope they can get it done next year. As a, as a defensive heavy hitter, how does it feel to go out there and score touchdowns every week? I mean, it's fun. I mean, offense does the work. I get down there, get the ball, I punch it in, do my job. It's fun. Well, go finish next week strong at Plano East, and good luck in the playoffs. Yes, sir. Thank you. Dan Jaworski, Friday Night Glory with Marcus, senior running back Ben Perlmutter. Ben, your senior year, I guess it would be safe to say it hasn't gone exactly the way you would have scripted it, but tell me how it feels on your last home game to get a touchdown and have a, had a pretty good night run the football. Yeah, I mean, a lot of adversity I've had to face this past year with the injury and everything, but I'm glad I've got to at least come back on the field and do what I love and just be with my brothers throughout the whole season, regardless if I'm playing or not. I mean, that's really all it is. You were in a similar situation last year that Brock is in this year as a junior. You know, last year you were you know, here trying to make a playoff push, came up short. How does it feel this year as a senior knowing your senior year you're going to playoffs? Yeah, senior year, I mean, it makes me feel like I have a lot more in control this year. Last year, I, as a junior, the seniority was just not great. And this year, I feel like I can really get a grip on what's going on and lead this team in the right direction and make sure we go farther than just one round in the playoff. How does it feel to get your sea legs back? How what? Your sea legs. You, can be, you, you, you know, the season, you, you had a build up and you're getting stronger and stronger yeah, yeah, yeah. every week. Yeah, I mean, it's great. I mean, after just not being able to do anything for almost five months, it feels great to be able to run again and just do it, uh, just keep on working out and everything like that, just running on the field, you know. Well, we're practice. looking for big things from you for next week and then in the playoffs. Yes, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. Good luck. Thank you. Friday Night Glory, Dan Jaworski here with Marcus Coach, Mike Alexander. Coach, big win tonight. At, you know, tough week last week in the Axe game. You come out tonight and just absolutely lay the wood on Plano. Man, you know, I, we didn't – we. Didn't play as well last week as we wanted to, uh, offensively especially. But man, our defense has been getting so much better every week uh, throughout the, the season. And uh, you know, we came out tonight and executed the plan, tackled well, defensive line dominated up front. Um, you know, it, it was a great win. Anytime you can, uh, you know. 
get a lead like we did in the third quarter and able to let our seniors play a lot in the second half, I mean, that was such a blessing because these guys, you know, they poured so much into this program over the years. And, and uh, you know, as a coach, you want to honor them and want to want to let everybody get on the field and have a, have a great experience in their last home game. And, and we were able to do that. And so credit to all of our team for allowing that to happen. So you punched your ticket to the playoffs. Not a bad start for a first-year head coach at Marcus. Yeah, I mean, that, you know, I think, you know, around here, that's, that's – you know, that's kind of been the standard, but we got to take it, you know, we, we, we don't want to just get to the playoffs. You know, we, we want to we want to go win gold footballs around here. And, you know, if, hopefully that happens this year. But but in any event, we know we've qualified at this point and we've done what it was necessary to have that opportunity. And that's all we can ask for right now and hope that over the next two weeks, we improve enough as a team. Whoever we get to play in the by district, we, you know, we have enough, uh, a good enough chance to, to go win that one too. Talk about the, the – I know you talked about the opportunity to get the seniors in, but talk about what it means on a night like this for them, you know, as, as you and your, your first year, these guys, that they came up in a different regime. They, they bought into your program on a, on, a, on a short lease, if you will. Yeah. Talk no about doubt. what that means to send them out on such a good night. I mean, it, you know, it means a lot. Uh, you, you never know when you come into a new situation – the most important group is the seniors, you know, because if you can get the seniors to buy into what you're selling, you got a chance. And because uh, nobody wants to wait around for the next group, you know what I mean? Like your first year, you mean, you know, you don't want to come in and, and just say, well, we got to get through this year and get an off season and get going. Because, uh, you know, we weren't able to have a real off season that I would have run, you know, and it'll look a little bit different. But to get, to come in when we did in April and get these seniors on board with what we were doing. And, it, you know, it just means a ton. I'm so thankful for them and grateful. And for not just the senior players, but the parents, you know, and everything, just the support that we've received is, has been just totally um, overwhelming. Well, congratulations on a big win. Congratulations on a trip to the playoffs. Awesome. Appreciate it, Dan. Thank you.